Hello everyone, and I'm having a late night snack. I should not be having this late night snack, but I am. I want to show y'all something. My nephews got me this truff mayonnaise. Truff mayonnaise. This is the spicy one. I also have an original one. So I thought I would make me a late night snack tonight using it. Woo, I tasted it. Now, I like spicy stuff. Y'all, this has got a kick to it. This is very nice. Truff mayonnaise. Go online and Google it. They've got hot sauces, all kinds of fabulous stuff. This stuff is good. First time to try it, but I had me a sample. So, here we go. I put that just on basic white bread. Normally, I toast my bread, but I wanted to taste the real flavor of the ham sandwich which is what i'm making a basic ham sandwich ham and tomato sandwich with a truff dressing and i left my bread just like this because i wanted to really taste the flavor of this truff mayonnaise so here's my bread and i've got my ham this is my real ham it, it ain't like lunch meat ham my real ham like a country baked ham and then I just cut it off into big old thick slices like this. And then I go in there and make breakfast, sandwiches, and everything else. So tonight's a sandwich. So I've got my piece of ham. And then I'm going to go in with two pieces of tomato. I cut these tomato slices kind of thick, but that's okay because I like tomato. And then on top of that, I'm going to use some lime pepper seasoning. <clears throat> I get this at Walmart or Fiesta stores if you are in Texas. So, this seasoning with lime and pepper. You can't go wrong. All right, now, this sandwich has a stage to it. Now, I've only used two pieces of bread, one piece of ham, two pieces of tomato, but why not? Let's go for it. If I'm going to cheat and have a late night snack, let's do it right. I'm going to go ahead on and add me another piece of ham. Lost my tomato. Hold on, y'all. My sandwich say, hey, that's too much. No, it's not too much. It's just right. I'm going to go with a double decker. Mm, 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 mm. So, here we go. Open face. Truff mayonnaise with a spicy kit. A double portion of cooked ham. Let's put the top on here. Mm, 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 mm. Well, you know I'm ready to bite into that. Take a look at that. Very simple and easy. Cook you a country ham. Like for Mother's Day or Easter. Get them on sale afterwards. Then chop that up into big old chunks and slices. Well, I do just slices. Put it in the freezer. Pull it back out for like a late night snack. This is what you call a real ham sandwich. I wasn't going to do the double decker, but once I started looking at it, I said, I think I need both pieces of that ham. So there it is. Just simple sandwich. Didn't even toast the bread. Double thick slices of ham and tomato. Use the truff mayonnaise and the lime pepper. I tell you what, let's cut into this sandwich. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. I know that's going to be good there. Sometimes you just got to splurge. Ooh, wee. It's so big, I can't even cut it. Hold on. Hold on. Whew. Ooh, that mayonnaise got a kick to it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Good old spicy kick. Okay. All right. We have cut our sandwich mm, mm, in half. Let's see what we got. Well, well, well. Oh, yeah. This is what we got. Look at that. I knew to go to Double Decker way. I knew it. Double Decker fresh ham sandwich with truff mayonnaise. Double Decker bread. Double Decker ham. Fresh ham. Double Decker tomato. And the lime seasoning. You know what? I'm going to try to take a bite. Hold on. Let me get a bite out of this because ooh, that don't make no as I say. Mm, mm, mm. Let me see if I can get a bite. Ooh. 
Oh my god. Mmm. 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 Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Ooh. The flavor of that mayonnaise, the lime pepper, and fresh tomato. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Let's go for another bite. Mmm. 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 Oh, my, my, my. Mmm. 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 This is amazing. Okay. One last thing. Ooh, we is good. Woo. I'm so glad you chose not to give up. I'm glad that you know the Lord. I'm glad that you love the Lord. I know that Jesus always comes through for you. Thank you for not giving up. Matter of fact, in this video, I want you to say, thank God I didn't give up. Because now the best is yet to come. God is going to bless you. God is fixing to bless you. Stay tuned.